Hello friends, myself Professor Vinod Pillai. Welcome to C++ programming session. Today's session we'll be seeing about inheritance part 5. I hope so you have seen my previous videos in which I have explained about inheritance and types of inheritance, need of virtual base class and what is the importance of constructors and destructors in inheritance. In the last session of inheritance in C++, I'll be talking about how we can access the data with the concept of called containership or you can say nesting of classes. Let's come into the point and I just repeated what's the case of inheritance is about as it's our last session. Whenever we want to have some features which is already being created some by some other classes then they do we have an option of inheritance or you can say we want to make some minor modifications or we want to upgrade some features then there are two options either we can make modifications to existing class or else we can create a new class and inherit the old class the second option is better because we don't disturb the old classes and that's the reason why inheritance is such powerful and such a good concept we can say now comes a question like what is the concept of containership and what is the need of containership if inheritance is available. Now you have to fundamentally understand whenever we want to access any data then we have two options. Either you can create an inheritance concept that is you create a child class and you just say, or you can say create a new class and you say that class to be a child of previous class. That's the first and foremost thing. Okay. So before going into deep I just repeat it whenever you want to access any data from other classes you have two options repeat it one is inheritance second is containership first I explain inheritance what happens you create a new class in the new class you add the old new features and you just simply say that you want to inherit from the previous class all the data which has been available from parent class will be transferred to child class that is the simplest way so what is containership what is the second option we are having second option we are having is something like this I show you with diagram that is something like this that is first scenario is inheritance class B is there which is having new features he wants the features of A that it simply says I want to inherit A that's the inheritance is now what containership says is that you create the class but you don't inherit it but you create the object inside the class then also you will get the features with the help of objects so these are the two ways how we can access the data one is inheritance one is containership now the question comes very important in your mind is when to use inheritance and when to use containership before going into in inheritance and uh, what when to use this thing you should remember that inheritance is possible in all the scenarios but you have to fundamentally understand that a class is inherited from it when there is some relation it that means if suppose you have class student and if you have a class faculty then faculty and students have many common features and you can come up with a concept called inheritance here like you create a class called person and person will have all the attributes which is common in student and faculty and faculty and student inherits the person okay so this is a valid inheritance why not be just because their attributes are same the reason is there is some relationship also and we can logically say that a, a student is a type of faculty uh, I mean sorry a student is type of a person okay ultimately a person will have all the attributes what generally a student used to have it so that's why you have created inheritance this is a valid point and this is logically correct also let's take into second scenario suppose we have two classes we have an employee class and we have a department class employees are having attributes like employee ID employee name em employee address salary XYZ and all those things department is also having department ID department name and other details description and all now in employee I want to store the which department he is working like he is working in sales department or he is working in purchase department or not now employee needs department data that didn't means now I should inherit department because yes practically it is not possible but you can do it by coding you can tell that employee class to inherit the department class but logically it is not correct okay you can't never say an employee is a department or department is type of employee something like that so in that scenario we have to understand instead of inheriting here we have we, we should create an object of it so in the employee class we create an object of department so that is what the difference is all about so when to use inheritance when to use containership you should understand this manner if there is some relation between them and attributes are common between them then there should be an inheritance if there is that is not the case then you should go for containership 
okay so that means you have to create the object so first and foremost we have understood what is inheritance and we have understood the two major ways how we can access that is one is inheritance and one is through containership let's see an example and we will see and we'll under try to understand it so something like this if suppose we have a department class I have created department is having ID and name and department is having the set attribute and display attributes employee is having employee attribute not only that it is having a department object also so so normal ways I will create set the values of employee ID and name and department related information I am getting through department dot set department okay this is for time being only I have shown it okay so whatever department employee is there his data will be entered and as simultaneously his department information is also being entered and while displaying the informations will display his employee ID employee name and simultaneously will display the employees department details also this is the one of the solutions but when we use create the files for as a database and all in that case we should ask him which department you are which display him the departments and you have to select it only for the timing I've just shown you this is the how you have to use containership let's run this program now So I just clear it, so compile it, so I run it, it's asking me employee ID, so I say employee ID is 1, employee name is we know, M department ID is 10, okay, suppose he is in purchase department. So this is the info information you have entered, employee ID is 1, his name is this, his department ID is this and his purchase is in particular department. So this is how we can use containership instead of inheritance wherever it is not possible but still we can access those data. I hope so I have cleared the doubts, I hope so I have cleared you when to use inheritance and when to use containership. It is a very important concept, many of the students misunderstand it and they almost every time they create inheritance only. You should remember wherever inheritance is possible then only you should do it, there is logically it should be a reason to do an inheritance also else it is not a valid answer to a particular solution if you have still any queries you can write comments on this video and you can find all coding related to this video will be found at my blog we know the best dot wordpress dot com thank you and please don't forget to subscribe my videos thank you and have a nice day